Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how I made this geometric pattern in watercolor. And also I'll talk a little bit about why I made this pattern. I started off with a small piece of watercolor paper on which I had already laid out a first layer of very, very diluted brown. It doesn't really matter. I could have done this on just white paper. What I did here was to draw some geometric shapes, triangles and rectangles mostly, and draw them very close together, but without them touching. And if they would have touched, the color would have bled from one shape to the other. And that did happen in some of the shapes. This is a really good exercise for improving your dexterity and your control of your paintbrush. It's also a good way to get to know your colors and to get used to mixing colors with water and controlling how much water you have in your color and how much water and pigment mixture you have on your paintbrush. This exercise does take some time. You learn a lot just by filling in this page with geometric shapes and I highly recommend it if you want to improve your skills with a paintbrush and watercolors. Another good thing about this exercise for me was that I got to know my colors a lot better. The colors I used here are straight out of the tube. They're not mixtures of colors. So the grayish color that you see here is Payne's gray. It's a bluish gray and the dark blue is indigo. I found it very interesting to see how Payne's Gray and Indigo look very similar when they're very saturated. The more diluted they are, they start looking different. The Payne's Gray starts looking more gray while the Indigo stays looking more blue. I want to try to make a mixture of Indigo and another color to make it look like Payne's Gray. The sky blue is cobalt blue hue. The purple is purple lake, which is a really nice color. I like it. The red is cadmium red deep hue, and it's actually a red with sort of a, an orange tinge to it. The green is sap green, and I think it's the color I least like out of all of the colors that I've used on this page. And the pink is permanent rose. The pink feels like a very opaque color. The color really reminds me a lot of bazooka bubblegum. Even though I've used these colors before, I feel like this exercise helped me get to know them a lot better and get more familiar with them. It's enough for me now to see the tubes of paint or to hear the name of the color and to know what it's going to look like, how it's going to feel, how opaque it is, how saturated it is, and how similar or different it is to other colors. So I really recommend this exercise if you're just starting out with watercolor. If you want to get a little bit better at using a paintbrush, drawing straight lines, drawing lines with precision so that they're close to other lines, and getting to know your watercolors. One thing that prompted me to make this pattern and other watercolor patterns that I've made in the past few days was an excellent class by Anna Victoria Calderon on Skillshare called Watercolor Textures. And she also has a beginner's watercolor class. So I'll leave a link to those classes in the description of this video. They're really excellent classes and I highly recommend them. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. You're welcome to share this video with your friends if you think they'll enjoy. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time.